In this screencast, we are going to look at shortened versions of stoichiometry problems. In the previous screencast, we looked at how we convert from grams to grams. In this version, we're following the same type of format, except instead of going from grams to grams, we may be going from moles to grams or from grams to moles. So it's just a little bit shorter. Let's look at some example problems. What mass in grams of glucose is produced when three moles of water reacts with carbon dioxide? In this problem, we are looking for grams of glucose. So I want to start by identifying my unknown. How many grams of C6H12O6 are in my given? My given is three moles of water. So I'm going to start with my given, and I put it over one. I want moles of water to cancel, so it has to go on the bottom of my next fraction. When I look at my balanced chemical equation, I see that I have six moles of water, so I'm gonna write a six on the bottom of my equation. I'm trying to change to glucose, so I'm going to write moles of glucose on the top of my fraction. Again, from my balanced equation, I see that I only have one mole of glucose. So the number on the top is 1. This step is my mole ratio step, which is what we learned about the other day. Now I know that my moles of water will cancel out, and I'm left with moles of glucose. But I need to have another step, because I'm looking for grams of glucose and not moles. So in my next step, I want moles of glucose to cancel, so it will go on the bottom of my fraction. So I write moles of C6H12O6 on the bottom of my fraction, and it's going to be 1. And then I need to find the molar mass of C6H12O6. Remember, to find the molar mass, I take my subscript times the atomic mass. So for carbon, I will take 6 times 12. For hydrogen, I will take 12 times 1. And for oxygen, I will take 6 times 16. When I add all of those numbers together, I get a molar mass for glucose of 180 grams. So my molar mass will go on the top. So just like in our last screencast, our next step uses our molar mass. Now my moles of glucose will cancel. And to solve my problem, I'm going to take 3 moles of water divided by 6 moles times 180 grams. And I get an answer of 90 grams of glucose. Pause the video if you need to, to write this example down in your notes. Then continue with the other examples. Using the same balanced equation, now we're trying to determine how many moles of carbon dioxide is needed to produce 25 grams of oxygen. My unknown is moles of carbon dioxide, so I start with how many moles of CO2 equals my given, which is 25 grams of oxygen. I put what I'm given over one, and I want grams of oxygen to cancel, so I know it has to go on the bottom of my next fraction. To find the mass of oxygen, I have to determine the molar mass of O2. There are two oxygens, and each oxygen has a mass of 16. So 2 times 16 gives me a molar mass of 32 grams of oxygen in one mole of oxygen. Grams of oxygen cancels, but I'm looking for moles of CO2, so I need to use another step. I know from my balanced equation at the top that I have six moles of oxygen, so my six moles of O2 will go on the bottom, and I'm looking for carbon dioxide. Again, from my balanced equation, I see that I have six moles of CO2, so that will go on the top. Moles of O2 cancels, and I solve my problem by taking 25 divided by 32 times six divided by six, and I get an answer of 0 0.78 moles of CO2. Notice in this problem, we use our molar mass in the first step, and then we use our mole ratio in the second step. We're still following the same guidelines, but we're instead of going from grams to grams, here we're only going from grams to moles. Pause your video to write down this practice problem. The first step in the industrial manufacture of nitric acid is the catalytic oxidation of ammonia. The unbalanced chemical equation is provided for you. Remember, the first step to solving stoichiometry problems is to make sure that your equation is balanced. So balance your equation before you move on. 
The reaction is run using 824 grams of ammonia in excess oxygen. Find out how many moles of nitrogen oxide are formed and how many moles of water are formed. Write your answer at the end of your notes and show your notes to Mrs. Benke. Here are the correct solutions to the problem. 824 grams of ammonia will produce 48.4 moles of nitrogen monoxide and 72.5 moles of water. Make sure you have the correct work and answers in your notes.